how to make fancy graphs like this one or this one? No? Well, then welcome to this tutorial about raw graphs. Raw graphs is a free data visualization tool that you can find online and it's very intuitive to use. So let's get started. By clicking on this button, you get to the main page where it allows you to load your data. You can either copy it from a text file, upload a file, or uh, copy a URL, or try one of the examples. Here we go. Uh, it has different data sets that are available and in different formats and different types of data. We were going to choose the Titanic's passengers, which is a multi-categorical data set. The data will be loaded in this field, and then it allows you to scroll down to choose your chart. You can see there are different types of charts available, including scatter plots and dendrograms. We're going to go with the alluvial uh, diagram, which shows categorical data distributed over different steps. And we go down here to map your dimensions, and here you see a field where you can drag your different variables that you want to be dis have displayed. Down here, where I mark it now, you can see which type of data it allows. And when you look here, you see what you can drag over there. So we can go with gender, with age group, yeah. Then we can go with survival and with class. As you know, the passengers on the Titanic were in different classes. And then when you scroll down here, you see your diagram almost ready to go. Um, you see the different steps that it has built. Uh, here you see class, for example. And when you look to the left, there are different options in how to yeah, adjust your, your diagram to your needs. So you can play with the width, with the height of the diagram. And here you can decide how thick you want those black stripes of the nodes to be. Here you can play with opacity, so if you want to have it see-through or not. And let's go back to the see-through version. Here you can choose the order of your variables, let's say the different levels, as you can see, it reorganizes them. And then finally you can play with color. In this case we have ordinal data. If you would go to linear, you would get something like this, so everything just black and white. But since we have all those different categories here, you can assign one color to each category. And then once you're done, you can basically just download uh, your diagram as a picture, give it a name, in this case, Titanic Survivors. Here we go, and you download it, and there it is. Don't forget to check out the learning page as well, because here you find different descriptions of all the graphs that you can make. And thanks for watching.